All right, guys, if you have been trying to get the ancient globs of ectoplasm like I have, you might be wondering, why have I only gotten three of these, but I have hundreds of glyphs from doing chest runs and stuff? That's because it doesn't really come from those same places. The best places that I've found so far to gather these is, uh, first, we want to look at the map here, right over in this region. I go to uh, this Cavalier's Shrine, and then you hit these areas, right? This new whatever. We hit the Neapolis. We hit this Jupiter's Grove, and we hit the Great Bazaar. If you go through and hit these, it's a pretty efficient little route here. And this is the area of Jupiter's Grove where I personally have noticed I've gotten the most of them. Now, another reason why we're not really getting a lot of these ancient globs of ectoplasm is when you do runs, a lot of people are skipping killing mobs and getting their hits in on mobs. And I've actually gotten most of the globs I've gotten from the mobs now that I've intentionally started trying to gather these. Now, the other area where we can get quite a bit of these is this section of things. Again, another area that isn't done on the chest runs really, right? So you kind of have to choose to go here on your own to try to farm these. Again, you want to kill mobs and loot the chest, not just one or the other. There is a chance to get it from both of these, uh, you know, options here. And so you want to hit these places, this four, these four locations right here. Again, it's kind of like another little efficient route. They connect through to each other. And you go through here and you get these. Uh, personally, for me, right, you can only do so much farming and such, yada, yada. What I've been doing is coming and doing this route here, right? I, I hit this one. I hit this one. I hit this one. I finish it out with this one, right? I also do my acid chest runs to try to get the golden scarabs, yada, yada, all that kind of stuff. But this is how you get the ancient globs of ectoplasm, you know? It's... Um, I, I literally had hundreds of glyphs, right? And all the sulfur and all the sand. And every time I want to make some rune class cases, I was having to buy the globs. And the globs get kind of crazy in price. They're like 500, 800, 900 gold each because they're kind of rare because they're coming from places that are not done on your usual chest runs that everyone, you know, hops on and does every day. And I'm, I'm serious. I've been doing chest runs every single day hundreds of them and i had three globs the entire time for over a month of running around in brim and doing everything but as since i started doing these right just yesterday i got like five globs out of here it was nice i only had to buy one glob to make the rune glass case uh two sets you know that i wanted to get made uh, I hope this helps somebody out. Hopefully, AGS will not go in here and nerf this the way they nerfed my uh, scorpion sulfur farm video. Now the scorpions are nothing but a nuisance. It doesn't feel like they lowered it. It's completely gone. Good luck to you guys. Good luck farming all those globs. I hope you appreciated this little tip here. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to all my YouTube members and my Patreon members. Really appreciate you guys supporting what I do here. Catch you in the next one.